Hello, I'm Sig Solo and this is my channel. Today is Tiny Tuesday tryout number 17 and it is a single edge August shave number three. I had to think about that a little because that was a long one for me. Uh, but this is the third um, single, um, single edge August um, uh, shave. Number three. And today I have the Occam razor, the first of the Occam's uh, razors. There is another one called the Orin with a hole in it. There's one called the Enoch uh, that has a different head and a different handle. And then there is the Hiram. And they are all named uh, the Orin and the Enoch and the Hiram are named after David's, the founder and maker of these sons. He has three uh, sons. Um, and they're called, as I said, Oren, that was the first one. The second one uh, was the Enoch and the third one was the Hiram. So they all have a razor named after them. In it, I changed the blade. If you looked at the thumbnail, you saw that I put in this um, uh, artist club, the one called uh, ProGuard, with the small things on it. But I realized after I, I did uh, the thumbnail, that I had some other blades too that I had never tried. So, these ones. These are the, the Feather uh, Artist Club Professional. So that's the, the middle, uh, middle of the range. They are not mild, they are not aggressive. Uh, I'll put a link to a YouTube video underneath, underneath this, where they explain in English what the differences are with the little, you know, pictures pointers and, and stuff. So th this is the mid-range, the professional. It's not the super uh, professional. That's what I thought it was. I think I even said that in a video, but they are not. So I have the ProGuard here, uh, the backup, the one from the picture. I have it here if um, it seems that this is uh, too uh, sharp for me. I have this razor. It comes with three heads. You load it from the back. You put it in and then it clicks and then it sits. I don't know if you see them in here. Uh, and then the blade sits. Um, I have the second, the one with the two dots. Uh, so that's the mid, uh, there is a one, that's a mild one and there's a three. That's the uh, most aggressive one. I have the mid one in it. Okay. The soap for today is uh, Goodfellow Smile Tallow. Number one, and that uh, is, uh, of course, is it's what they call uh, the second generation super tallow soap. They call it that, and I have no idea why. Uh, maybe it's because it's super. I haven't tried it. Here you have it. Uh, it has a very strong uh, scent of some flower, flowery uh, thing. It smells like uh, uh, a garden with flowers and bushes blooming or, you know, in, in springtime, um, that's all I can say. I'm not, I'm not an, uh, a soap scent uh, specialist, so I cannot say it's that scent or it's that or it's that. And I didn't read up upon it because I didn't want uh, my uh, impression to be, you know, in some way uh, be done before. I smelled this. Oh, I'm struggling for it today. But I have it here and it smells like, I don't know if it's called geranium, uh, geranium, 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 you know, the bush with the, uh, the purple flowers. That's how it smells. Very perfumey flower. Uh, I have it, uh, I'm using the Sig Solo, the black ball here. And I have a new brush that Yachi sent me. It's called the Surf. And this is only a 22 millimeter brush. Here you have it next to the, you know, the 26 um, Ferrari and you see how little it is. Uh, the uh, knot on this is 22 millimeter only and it's called the Mink Premium. It's a th synthetic and then I believe this is the smallest uh, synthetic brush only at 22 millimeter. I believe there is one of the Makas uh, 22 as well, but uh, I believe none are smaller than this. There is the Ringo uh, silver tip that has a 21 uh, millimeter knot, but that's not a synthetic. 
Okay. What, look at this. I almost didn't put anything in it. And as long as you keep this level, it stays inside the bowl. I told you that before. Okay, so let's get on with it. I'm very excited because I have only used this razor once. And that was in the, you know, in the battle against, what was it? Uh, was it the treat or was it? Well, I don't remember. Uh, you have to look back in my catalog to see. Uh, oh yeah, this is a nice scent. I'm, I'm usually not a, a flowery scent uh, guy, but it's, uh, the soap feels different than all their uh, HA1 vegan. Uh, and it should, because it is different. This is a tallow-based soap. Um, it feels more, um, you know, like, it feels thicker in, you know, it's like, um, what do you call it? Uh, I have, well, I can't speak today. Okay, it's, it's thick like the cream, the moisturizing cream you use every morning when you look at it in the bowl. Uh, that's what it feels like to me. I'm very excited to see. Maybe I should have added a little more water to this. I don't think so. But let's see. So my second shave only with the Akram razor. Oh, I forgot to say this is all stainless steel. Uh, 316 stainless steel. Okay, are you ready? Let's give this a go. I'm a little <laughs> excited. Okay. I definitely hear the blade. Hmm. I need to find the correct angle because it was, it almost felt chucking in the beginning. But that's just... Uh, this being an artist club blade. Uh, it is of course 50% longer than the normal DE or the injector. So it's much bigger, it's a much bigger blade. So as uh, CDB says, it covers a lot of uh, real estate. <laughs> I think that's the expression he uses. So, hmm. I need to work on my angle, I think, because I don't know. This is a learning curve. I don't know. If you see, but to me it looks like I didn't remove anything over here. Maybe I did. Okay, onto the nose. Two and a half day stubble. I can definitely feel the blade moving. You know, it's 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 a floating system, so the, it's not attached to anything in the middle. And I can feel it moving. I would say it's a strange feeling. I actually ordered the um, the Enoch the other day. Uh -huh. I expect that to arrive. It like it's like it cuts better uh, by at the sides and not as good in the middle. That's how it feels to me. Maybe uh, if any of you viewers are experts on this Akram, tell me is that how it is? It feels like it's not cutting as much in the middle to me. Okay, second applications, application. And of course, 
If this is your first time here, welcome. Very nice to have you here. If this is a returning thing for you, if you are a returning viewer or a subscriber even, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please consider a subscription. You help the channel enormously. Uh, we want it to grow. We want more people to support and to comment. That's one of the goals. Well, the first goal is to have fun and show people how. Show people different things, having, th uh, having fun. And in this uh, single edge uh, August, using uh, single edge races that you don't see that often. So this is, uh, well, I like this. I like this, uh, so, okay. So, second pass across the grain. Well, it certainly cuts in the middle now. Maybe it was uh, an angle thing, I don't know. Okay, Kidogi. Let's see. So, I need to keep a, a, what do you call it, another angle. I would rather do this, but I have to do this. So a steeper angle. Maybe it's not even a full 30 degree angle, I'm not sure. But I can feel now that it's cutting in the middle too when I have a steeper angle. So you don't have to put it flat uh, on the head, even though it's it looks like it. You have to adjust it a little. That's how I feel. This is easy to grip, by the way. There is uh, some kind of, I don't know, finish here. I mean, maybe it's beaded, bead blasted but it's not slippery at all. And it has these huge uh, leather channels here, so no clocking whatsoever. Okay. I'm really struggling not to apply pressure, really. Because that's what I usually do under the note. And when I use a razor I'm not that familiar with, I usually cut myself. I feel, you see, I cut myself. Just as I told you I would. Here. Well, I don't know if you see it. Okay. This is a nice razor. Usually it's more than a hundred dollars. I got it at a sale um, at a spring uh, sale and I only paid I think $47 for it. So, but it's, it's, um, it's not difficult to use, but you need to be wary of the angle. Okay, that's how it is. So, man, this is a great brush, even though it's travel sized. And by the way, I'm going traveling in September. I, my application came through and it seems I will be allowed to go to Scandinavia th for three weeks. And I haven't figured out if I will make the video, make some videos before I go or try to, um, make a video while traveling. I would love to do that, but I don't know how that will work. So, okay. So against the growth uh, and pick up at the same time. And you know, at this side, you need to start. Oh, you hear that? That was a touchdown. The music began. Man, that was loud. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, down here. I'm getting the angle now. So all you need to do is change the angle a little and then it engages and then you have a wonderful card. I don't know if you hear that, do you? Oh, you do. Oh, that's good. Okay. So we are about done. Next week will be the leaf twig uh, thorn. That I've all also only used once. And I would, th I would say it, well, it felt a bit rough on my skin. Too much blade feeling, but maybe that was just the day and all that. Okay. Okay. Today is Tuesday, so no captain. Only me. <laughs> so no fake captain, only the real authentic veteran captain. Okay. So there you have it. That's wonderful. Did it give me a great shave? It did. It took me a couple of passes to find the angle. Of course. I'm a novice in all this. Okay. The aftershave for today is this. The Williams Aqua Velva Lothion. This is the Spanish one. Um, I put it into this. Because I don't want it everywhere in the bathroom. Let's see, let's find the angle. Oh yeah. Whew. Again a little in the mouth, up my nose. <laughs> Maybe that's why you don't use that. Maybe that's why you apply it with your hands. And you're all laughing at me now. I could have told you that. I tried that. I know people, some people say that you cannot use a plastic bottle. It takes away from the fragrance and, you know, the strength and that. I don't find that. So, this is the Nivea Men Shaving Body Anti-Irritation After Shave Lotion. Okay. Two. No, sorry. One and a half. Pumps. Oh yeah. Fabric softener takes me back to my grandmother's garden once again. And that's it. Oh man. I actually have a little stubble here that I didn't get. So if you're a new shaver, never do what I'm about to do. Never. I'm going on top of the cream. Oh yeah, that's it. We're done. Okay, like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And most importantly, almost, almost. Uh, comment. I love when you comment and I do my best to answer you as fast as I can. Okay. We are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six Solo, out.